now we need to put our password building to our ground floor top okay also we need to make our roof or slab so to do that we will use polyline command start from here like this and connect with this point we will take a copy of this line and now we will extrude this about 5 inches and we will put this object to our slab layer this now we will turn on our slab layer as you can see our slab has been created as we have seen previously our slab has a little design so we will try to make this design or some other design now we will make our roof design roof slab so first take line command start from this point give three inches then one inches same design we have made previously so just doing the same two inches and three inches then one inches then three inches again and connect with this point now we will join this lines to a single object for joint command now as you can see it has been created a polyline so we will now extrude this so take extrude command select this and press space bar then choose path and select this line as a path as you can see it has been created now we will put this in here so now we will go to wireframe Select this copy. We'll take this point and put it there. Now go to shaded and we'll see if it is correct or not. Yeah, it is correct. Now we'll put this design to our slab layer like this okay it has been created mm, so we have missed something actually uh, we have to put these things in wall layer so select this and put it in, we will put it in wall layer for this railings we will make a new rail called 3D railings 3D railings give some color some dark colors or maybe some white color white color will be fine and select this select this array also this and this and put this into that 3d railings like this okay 
now we need to make our parapet wall so to do that we will use our previous copy of our roof line so for first we will take offset of around 5 inches inside and now extrude select this polyline select this polyline and give a distance of 2 feet 5 inches now subtract created put this thing into one layer and select this copy choose this point put it Okay, we cannot find any reference so it will be in wireframe so we need to connect it here this point right No, not that point. This point. So we put copy it, select this point. this point now we will go to our shaded mode to see this as you can see it has been perfectly created so our first floor has been created as you can see we now we will put this whole portion above this portion ok so just select everything Okay, we don't need this box, so select everything and then deselect by holding C button and and copy it. Take this point. So here is also the same problem, reference line cannot be choose. If it is correct then I think, yeah it's correct, as you can see, it is correct, it is correct. first row there is no charges because we forget to copy so no problem just select to we will just copy it now copy command take this as a base point and put it here as you can see charges has been created now rotate it same way do it here also select these 3d solids and take copy command take 
take this corner point and put it here Wait. also here so select okay we have now copy it take this point and paste it here now it has been done so now we need to make our plinth also our bottom slab we will make it in our next video